right now at the Duval County Courthouse, there is a sentencing hearing going on, and it's all about this case that revolved around these sketches that occurred nearly 20 years ago when a baby was taken from a Jacksonville hospital. Now, we want to listen in here for just a second, and we believe on the stand right now is Craig Aiken. He's talking about the moments, what it was like to find out that his newborn daughter had been taken by a woman from that hospital. Let's listen in in just a second. First, I want to I give up that they like father them. So they followed me, they surrounded me, followed me down the hallway. They, put, they, they get me to a little room, and, and in the little room, there's like 10 more police, so all us crowded up in there. And they tell me, they say, uh, Mr. Aiken, we got good news and we got bad news. I say, well, what's the, what's the, what's the good news? I'm already jealous. What's the good news? So they were like, um, your daughter was born, Kamaya Mosa, eight pounds, 77 ounces. And I was happy. And I, I was so happy I forgot to say old bad news. So I'm like, well, what's the bad news? I'm like, I'm thinking, at that time, everything comes to my mind besides kidnapping. When they told me kidnapping, I stood up on them because uh, I didn't understand what they mean. You know? I know what kidnapping means, but you know, for them to tell it to me, you know. That's not how I have on TV. You don't have any people like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I just kept asking, like, what you mean? She's like, kidding, I'm like, what you mean? You know. But, you know. Did they provide you, like, really any answers? Did they know why? Did they know who they No. They didn't, they didn't tell me that. They said they were going to talk to my, my baby mama. So I was answering the call, talk to her. When I called her, as soon as she got to the phone, she cried like, you should have been here, you should have been here. And I'm like, I was trying to, she was blaming me. She's like, is the kid out the baby? Like, what do y'all mean? What do y'all mean? She's crying, screaming, I can't get nothing out of it. Just... Mr. Aiken, did you feel helpless because of your circumstances? Helpless is not the word, you know. Um, I try to be up for my family all the time. Like, you know, I got other kids and everything, so. I'm not used to missing a lack of none of my kids or my, my kids' mothers. <clears throat> and right now today I'm still mad about that, that I wasn't that far. Until I feel like I, I owe her now, I need to still be up front. Was uh, jail a good place for so you? So that is Craig Aiken. He's Kamaya Mobley's birth father talking about the moments he found out his newborn daughter had been kidnapped from a Jacksonville hospital nearly 20 years ago. Now, a pivotal part of the search was getting out sketches of Kamaya as well as the suspect. And Kamaya was just eight hours old. There hadn't even been a photo of her taken yet. Our Lindsay Boach sat down with a sketch artist who became a very big part of this nationwide search. In the basement of the state attorney's office building in this workshop is where artist James McMillan works. His tools, hot glue, Elmer's glue, a scalpel, and a pencil. He's a forensic artist and he plays a key role in crimes that happen here in Jacksonville. And that was no different July 10th, 1998. I remember getting a call in the middle of the night. That was the night Kamaya Mobley went missing at just eight hours old from what was then University Medical Center, now UF Health. And they had a witness who I think was a nurse, if I, I don't recall if that's correct or not, but I think she was a nurse. Um, and uh, I sat down with her and uh, we did the sketch. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't remember much about the actual sketch itself. He says that's the case with many of his sketches. He pays attention to what the witness says and then draws it out. He was also asked to do a sketch of baby Kamaya in different variations of what we now know was Gloria Williams. I do remember that she, one of the things that, that I thought was helpful at the time was that she, she remembered seeing a little bit of hair on the forehead of the, of the person that she was describing that was different than the rest of her hair, which made her think that she was wearing a wig. He says the sketches he draws are supposed to be tools for the detectives to either include people in the suspect pool or eliminate them. It's not my job to draw the suspect. It's my job to record an impression left in the mind of one person by another. And we'll keep you updated as new developments come out of that at the Duval County Courthouse.